hello what's up everyone welcome back to my channel now today i'll be showing you how i make my version of the jamaican easter bun so guys let's get started so here i have some all-purpose flour over here i have a guinea stout but you could use a dragon for my spices i have some cinnamon ground ginger ground nutmeg um cardamom salt and baking powder over here i have some soaked fruits but of course you could use your dried fruits so i'll tell you more about that i have some brown sugar over here i have some um jam i have some browning i have some molasses some vanilla i have eggs honey lime zest but you could use lemon as well too So to my sauce, but I'm just going to go ahead and add my butter because I'm going to load the butter and the jam and the molasses to melt on the stove and come together. So in I'm going to go with my Guinness stout. But as I mentioned before, if you don't have Guinness stout, you could use a dragon. And if you want to go for a non-alcoholic version, you could use Malta. And I'm going to go in with my honey. And my molasses now guys for the browning you add to your liking I'm not gonna add it just yet until I see the desired color that I'm looking for and I'm gonna go in with my um, strawberry jam but if you have grape jelly or you have guava jam which is preferable you could go ahead and use that and I'm gonna go in with my sugar now guys I cut my sugar in half because the jam is sweet the honey the molasses is sweet I did go ahead and cut mine in half but of course if you want I'll be leaving the full measurement down in the description box so you could go ahead and follow that now I'm just gonna give this a swirl and allow all the jam and the thick um, condiments to melt and become nice and smooth in the meantime I'm gonna go ahead and sift my dry ingredients so in my bowl i'm gonna go ahead and sift my all-purpose flour then i'm gonna go in and sift my spices after which I'm going to go ahead and give a nice whisk to combine everything together. And as I said before, I will leave a link on everything that I'm using down in the description box. So you could go ahead and make yours if you wanted to. Now here I'm going to go ahead and whisk in my um, lime zest into the eggs. I have already moved the eye of the egg or the chalaza, whichever you want to call it, but Jamaicans call it the eye. So I've already moved that and I'm going to go ahead and whisk in my lime zest. As I said before, you could use lemon zest as well or even orange. Now that my mixture is nice and melted and everything is homogenous I'm gonna go in with these soaked fruits now I have a video on how I soak these fruits I find that soaking the fruits give it a bit of texture but you don't have to soak it in alcohol you could go ahead and soak it in some water or some fruit juice or whatever but soaking the fruit gives a better texture because sometimes the dried fruits is a little bit too dry and once the bun is baked they are gonna still remain dry and I went in with my browning and my vanilla And I'm going to go in with my eggs. Now I'm just going to go ahead and pour my mixture in. You might ask why I pour the mixture in all at once. My mixture is just right for my flour because I did my measurements. But if you're not sure, you could go ahead and add it in small amounts. I'm just going to go ahead and whisk this together. And guys, we do not want to have a thick butter and we don't want it too loose. Because if you have too thick butter, your bun is going to end up being dry. And if you have a loose butter, it's going to taste like a cake or I know pudding or something you want the butter to be right in the middle now 
know this is the consistency I'm looking for you want it to be able to fall off your whisk or your spatula without hesitation and you don't want it to be running as if it's a river you want it right in between I'm just gonna go ahead and grease my bunting now this bunting I'm using is actually a large one you could find this on Amazon uh, or you could actually use whatever size bunting you have but if you want one this large you could find this pan on Amazon now I'm just gonna go ahead and pour my um, bun mixture into my bun pan and guys I'm just gonna go ahead and level this out and to this I'm gonna go ahead and add some cherry on top now the cherry is more like for presentation purpose and to make your bun look a little bit prettier it's not necessary but it's recommended so I'm just gonna go ahead and add some cherry to the top of my bun so once my bun is baked it will be looking pretty and I'm gonna bake this in a 325 degrees oven for about an hour and 10 minutes because that's what actually the time it took to bake it depending on your oven yours might finish a little bit too quick or less time now after all that time this is what my bun is looking like nice soft toothpick insert come out clean and I'm just gonna go ahead and glaze the bun with a simple glaze here I have some honey and butter that I melted down in the microwave and that's just simple you could just go ahead and melt down some jam and use that as well but I'll be using the honey and the butter to glaze my bun and that's just about it guys my bun is nice and ready so I'm gonna glaze this and allow it to cool completely actually I actually let this sit until the next day and trust me when all that flavor come together the bun is nice and cool you get a better slicing now well, guys if you have reached as far in the video and you like what you see go ahead and hit that subscription button turn on the post notification bell so you'll be notified each time I upload a new video and give this video a big thumbs up and if you like the video again you could also go ahead and share this video to your family and friends now it's actually the next day I'm go ahead and remove my bun and because I greased my bun tin the bun came out effortlessly that's what you want to happen guys now I'm just gonna go ahead and show you how this is looking on the inside now traditionally Jamaican Easter bun is served the Jamaican tasty cheese but if you're um overseas and you don't have tasty cheese you could use a regular cheddar cheese but trust me you won't get that nice flavor or if you're vegan you could just find some vegan cheese but traditionally it's eaten with the jamaican tasty cheese and let me tell you guys this bun right here was so soft and moist it wasn't crummy guys if you're cutting your bun and you're seeing a lot of crumb maybe it's on the drier side but mine was perfect nice soft and mm, delicious guys try this recipe and let me know down in the comment section what you think about it and also you could tag me on instagram with your creation and let me see how yours turned out now guys this is perfect around easter time which we which which is where we normally make this bun and guys actually in my house we make easter bun 24 7 we don't wait on easter to have easter bun now guys you could go ahead and make your easter bun now guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one have a good day and bye for now